right, it's finally time to seed the other half of my ridge top plot. I want to show you a few things here, uh, but first about equipment. I got it tilled up with the power tiller. Here is the tiller, power tiller, if you've seen any, any of my other videos. If you could only get one implement, it would be, my recommendation would be a power tiller. Um, because it literally can replace uh, discs and a two or three bottom plow. It can do the job of uh, actually three or four implements. You could see how nicely it grinds it up. Excellent tool. They're a little pricey, probably 28, three grand ish for brand new. Um, but if you only could get a tractor with one implement, I recommend the power tiller. First thing note here, you see all my chicory and clover growing, and then you see this bare spot here. There is a little bit of uh, germination there, but not much. That is where a stump was. And this whole plot is not growing nearly as thick as it otherwise would be in a bottom. That's because there's too much acid. I mean, I knew that, you know, anytime you're in the woods like this. So I'm going to hit it with pelletized lime again for the second time. And fertilizer, which fertilizer is made from lime. The, the base they use is lime. And then I'll do my normal seeding on this plot and finally get it Seed it now with pretty much everything large. We have the lime. I have triple 13, some oats, and winter wheat. That's all going in a cocktail, and then I'll drag that under. And then at the very end, I'll put some brassicas over the top and roll them. Since I have the roller here, it does a nice job finishing it off. There, it's like a party the morning after with all the beer cans laying all over the house and whatnot. All of my empties right here. Oats, wheat, fertilizer, lime, and brassicas. Oh yeah, bring it on, baby. And now for about my favorite part. Most of the work is done, now it's sitting on the tractor. Running the drag, and that tiller is running flat also, trying to knock some of the humps down. This kind of plot is a real pain in the arse. Tight space is a lot of extra work, but in the end it should pay off. I'm not seeing any deer in here now, or very few I should say, but it's really not for now. It's for later on when the crops get cut off and they come back into the woods. That is it for my Illinois plots. It's really a thing of beauty. I just rolled it with the lawn roller. I've been working on these since about February and it's unbelievable how well they have turned out even though of course I've been persistent. I've replanted these like five or six times because they got washed out over the rain so much. If I hadn't have done that they'd be junk. So things are finally starting to look up. This is my treat, big frozen strawberry margarita for finishing my food plots on our Illinois farm. Oh yeah.